Hello all you super geniuses out there. Welcome to another video lecture from Super Genius 99 and today we will be talking about polynomial functions. In this case uh, it'll be long division. Let's read the instructions. Use algebraic long division to find the quotient and the remainder. Okay so Here's the problem, 3x squared plus 4x plus 6, divided by x, uh, x plus 2. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up for algebraic long division. So I'll use algebraic long division. You're going to use the, uh, the, the division bar. Okay, and then this guy right here, this x plus 2, will go on the outside. And then 3x squared plus 4x plus 6 will go on the inside. Okay. And then from there, we just start our division process. So the first thing I ask myself is how many times does x, what times x? gives me 3x squared. Okay, so something times x gives me 3x squared. So let's, let's put this over here. What times x equals 3x squared? Okay. In other words, some, some variable, we'll call it a, times x equals 3x squared and you can look at that and just say okay well the answer is 3x times x gives you 3x squared. Now I know I put an a there that a was to represent a variable if it makes more sense, let's put a question mark there. Okay, so some variable times x equals 3x squared. Okay, and that is 3x. Okay, so we figured that out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this portion here and put it the x over the x. Now why are we putting 3x here? When you do long division uh, polynomial functions, you always put the same um, variable type over itself. So you don't put 3x over 3x squared. You put 3x over 4x because they're like terms. Okay, So you put the x over the x. The x is over the x. If this was x squared, you'd have it over 3x squared. But since it's 3x, the 3x is over the 4x, not the 3x squared. That's just how it's done, and you'll get more explanation on that later. Now, you take your 3x here, and you multiply it by this x plus 2, okay? So you say, what's well, 3x times x? We already know it. Three x squared. Now, don't just multiply by x. Multiply it by the 2. What's 3x times 2? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me there. I meant to hit the pause button before I sneeze, but oh well. And then what, what you do here is you subtract. Just if you were doing regular division, let me come over here in regular division, and you were to say uh, 2,159 uh, divided by 7, how would you set this up? Same way, you put the 7 on the outside, just like we did here. See how we did that? We put that on the outside. Have your little fraction bar. You put this on the inside. And then you see how many times the 7 go into what? Into 21. Now pay close attention here. When you said how many times did 7 go into 21, notice you didn't put the 3 over the 2, did you? No, you did not. 
you put the three over the where. You put the three over this guy right here. And then you said seven times three is 21. And then you kept doing it. So that's what we're doing. And notice at this step, what did you do here? Did you add this 21 plus 21? You did not. You did what? You subtracted. Isn't that how you do regular division? You subtracted, right? You didn't add, you subtract. And you said, well, 21 minus 21 is what? Zero. And then you kept doing it. So just like we subtracted right here, we're going to subtract here. OK. We're going to subtract there. And then we're going to uh, get the difference. Now, remember when you're subtracting, you got to do what? You got to distribute this negative. So this is 3x squared minus 3x squared. That goes away. This is 4x minus 6x. Now, 4 is plus 6x. Remember, we're not adding. We're doing what? We're subtracting. 4x minus 6x. So what's 4x minus 6x? All right, 4 minus 6 is a negative 2x. And then what happened over here? When you did your regular division, what happened after you subtracted this? You did what? You brought down. What did you bring down? You brought down the next number. You brought, what's the next number? 5. You would bring down this 5. Guess what we're going to do in long division? We're going to do the same thing. After we're done subtracting, we're going to bring down. What are we going to bring down? The next number is coming down with its, with its uh, um, symbol here, so plus 6. See how it's the same thing? It's just using variables, okay? You're doing the same process as regular division, okay? Some people get confused. You're doing the same thing. It's just you're, there's just letters here. Don't let the letters throw you off, okay? Same process. You ask yourself how many times is x plus 2 going to 2x plus 6, or in other words, sorry, how many times is x going to negative 2x, or what times x? What times x equals, in this case, negative 2x? What do I need to multiply x by to get me negative 2x? I need to multiply x by a negative 2. Why do I choose negative 2? Well, because negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Now, why do I need these two to be identical? Just like he had over here. Well, well it didn't have to be identical. But, you, but in this case, you want it to be identical so that it goes away, so that it subtracts. Okay. So I multiply negative 2 times x, I got negative 2x, and the negative 2 times 2 is negative, uh, negative 4. Right. Okay. And then now you subtract those two. You don't add them, right? You subtract, because that's what you do when the division, after you do the, this multiplying step, you subtract, so we need to subtract these two numbers. So negative 2x minus negative 2x, 0. 6 minus negative 4, well, add a line, change the sign. So it's really 6 plus 4, which is 10. Okay. So our answer here is 3x minus 2, and then here's our remainder because we don't have any numbers. So your remainder is what happens when you what, run out of numbers to divide by. So it's 3x plus 2, excuse me, 3x minus 2. <coughs> your remainder is 10, but you're going to put 10 over your divisor. So you can have remainder 10 or 3x minus 2. Make sure I'm still on the screen. Okay, yeah. Almost ran out. So that was R for remainder 10 plus 10 over the divisor. Okay? So just to recap, <coughs> when you're dividing by, when you're doing your division, you're always saying, okay, x times what goes into that current variable? x 
times this this front variable, the leading coefficient variable, times what number or what you know what number and letter will give me this right here. Okay, and then you subtract and you bring down, just like you're doing regular vision. You multiply, you subtract, you get your difference, you bring the next number down. You multiply, you subtract, you get the difference, you bring your next number down. When you run out of numbers, you do what? That becomes your remainder. So your answer is 3x minus 2 plus 10 over 2, or 3x minus 2 remainder 2. Okay, so I'll probably do some more of those. Um, in another video, let you absorb this. This has been another video lecture from Super Genius 99 on polynomial functions, algebraic long division. Thank you for watching.